Deepak Kochar and Chanda Kochar have been granted a relief. Uh, I'm joined by Rohan Dakshini, who is the lawyer representing them. So, what exactly were the arguments that were put forth by you in the court for uh, seeking an interim relief, or is this a final relief that they have received? The the bail that they have received will be an interim bail, mm -hmm. but in in practical terms, it's a final bail because they will be out, mm -hmm. and this uh, bail will continue pending the hearing of the petition. Mm -hmm. The broad argument that we had made was that the arrest is completely illegal. Mm -hmm. The basis of that was that uh, our Section 41A, mm -hmm. read with Section 41B2, mm -hmm. Section 41A expressly stipulates that if a 41A that the police must in offences punishable less than seven years, mm -hmm. mandate literally issue a 41A hmm. and so long as the, the accused in response to the notice attends the office and, co and uh, 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 cooperates with the officer, okay. there is the there is an express statutory bar on any kind of an arrest. Okay. There are only certain circumstances which are detailed in 41B2 hmm. where the officer may uh, effect an arrest hmm. which is if he comes to the conclusion that the the accused are going to abscond hmm. or they are going to tamper with the evidence or they are going to interfere in the investigation. Okay. None of these circumstances were made out in the case. Hmm. Every time Chanda and Deepak Kochar were called, hmm. they had duly appeared before the officer. But the CBI very clearly said that you know every time we wanted to confront uh, the coachers with the Dhut, uh, you know Mr. Dhut would either not appear or the coachers would not appear. Either of the two would ha not really appear. So that's the reason why to confront all these three people together they had to arrest. Uh, was that really true? That's, that's not correct and obviously the High Court has not accepted that submission. Mm. Whenever the, the coaches were called, the coaches had appeared. Uh, they could have always called Dhut at the same time mm. or if the, or made sure that all three appeared at the same time. Mm. That was a matter of coordination, not mm. a requirement for arrest. Circumstances which are detailed in 41B2 mm. where the officer may uh, effect an arrest mm. which is if he comes to the conclusion that the the accused are going to abscond mm. or they are going to tamper with the evidence or they are going to interfere in the investigation. Okay. None of these circumstances were made out in the case. Mm. Every time Chanda and Deepak Kochar were called, mm. they had duly appeared before the officer. But the CBI very clearly said that you know every time we wanted to confront uh, the coachers with the Dhut, uh, you know Mr. Dhut would either not appear or the coachers would not appear. Either of the two would ha not really appear. So that's the reason why to confront all these three people together they had to arrest. Uh, was that really true? That's, that's not correct and obviously the High Court has not accepted that submission. Mm. Whenever the, the coachers were called, the coachers had appeared. Mm. Uh, they could have always called Dhut at the same time mm. or if the, or made sure that all three appeared at the same time. Mm. That was a matter of coordination, not mm. a requirement for arrest. Mm. They had only summoned the coachers for the first time, at least Chanda Kochar. Mm. Deepak Kochar had been summoned in 2019. At that stage, they never sought to uh, confront him with Dhut. If Chanda Kochar was summoned for the first time in mm. July, 22 when mm. she appeared again there was no suggestion that any confrontation was required mm. and again in December 22 was the second time that she was summoned mm. and arrested within half an hour of her okay. appearance before the officer. Okay. So uh, did the court say anything in specific while granting uh, the relief today uh, or was there any condition laid down? The court has held that the arrest was illegal in, some, in as much as it does not comply with 41A and 41B2 and consequently has granted the release. Okay. We have made a, we, the court had uh, put a condition of a surety but uh, on uh, our request the court has now made it cash bail. Okay. So hopefully if the copy of the order comes, uh, they should be out today. Today itself. So that was Rohan Dakshini representing uh, uh, the coaches and uh, very clearly the entire relief has been granted to the coaches and they should be released uh, and will be able to come out of the prison is what the lawyer, lawyers are really hopeful about with the eye in Mumbai for India today. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.